Item number SCP-190-DE Object Class Euclid Secure Containment Procedures Direct containment of SCP-190-DE-1 and 2 is currently considered too costly and counterproductive. They are allowed to continue to the business on the condition that they inform the Foundation staff at all times where and when they will appear next. They are also required to keep the special characteristics of SCP-190-DE-3 and the nature and origin of the non-terrestrial natural resources secret. SCP-190-DE-3 is to be equipped with a GPS tracker and all quality and health inspections are to be carried out by Foundation certified personnel. SCP-190-DE is to be monitored at all times by Foundation personnel, but not to be informed of this fact. If one or both entities actively attempt to avoid being monitored by the Foundation, the Midgard Protocol is to be enacted. Description SCP-190-DE are two entities with a humanoid appearance. SCP-190-DE-1 has the appearance of a 40-year-old, 196-centimeter-tall muscular man with long blonde hair and full beard. SCP-190-DE-2 has the appearance of a 40-year-old woman with the size of 179 centimeters. SCP-190-DE-2 is bald, but conceals it with a brown wig. Both claim to be the Norse gods Thor and Sif, but this has not yet been conclusively proven or refuted. SCP-190-DE-1 and 2 operate a small mobile kebab joint. Here and after referred to as SCP-190-DE-3, with the name The Turkish Valhalla. That offers dishes and drinks corresponding to such an establishment. SCP-190-DE-1 always works at the front of the counter, serving and talking to customers, while SCP-190-DE-2 takes care of meal preparations. Although SCP-190-DE-3 looks like a normal snack car painted in white, it has several special features instead of a vehicle. SCP-190-DE is towed by two domestic goats, which can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. Note, DNA tests show that they are completely normal goats. These extraordinary abilities are readily accepted and ignored by bystanders, presumably due to an anti-memetic effect. Furthermore, SCP-190-DE-3 has larger internal dimensions than what would logically be possible with its external dimensions. Thus, it has a usable area of approximately 70 square meters, which is accompanied by kebab grills, ovens, refrigerators, and other objects necessary for a kebab joint. However, some of them are arranged in such a way that this spatial discrepancy cannot be determined by outside glances. SCP-190-DE-3 is also capable of spontaneously disappearing with a flash of light and reappearing at another location. The time between disappearance and reappearance does not follow any laws that are apparent to the Foundation. SCP-190-DE-1 explained in this context that they are still visiting other worlds in between. SCP-190-DE-1's and SCP-190-DE-2's DNA is human, but both show a much higher body performance and vitality, but only a normal human intellect. It was observed how SCP-190-DE-1 and 2 worked consistently for a whole week without signs of fatigue. Tests on the resistance to various influences have not yet been carried out, but both entities are immune to narcotics in all doses and weak poisons used so far. SCP-190-DE-1 has asked to refrain from such tests in the future, otherwise things would become really uncomfortable. Due to their physical strength and resilience, the Foundation expects high losses and its attempted containment and is refraining from doing so for the time being due to its peaceableness, willingness to cooperate, and desire to remain undiscovered. SCP-190-DE has so far traveled around northern and central Europe to sell its food. 
Both entities speak the languages of all countries they visit frequently, and apparently know the local laws for the commercial distribution of food, the keeping of goats, and behavior in local traffic. It has not been observed that any of the entities deliberately broke any of these laws. Although SCP-190-DE sells ordinary foods and beverages, it also offers dishes with a range of ingredients whose biological source cannot be found on Earth. Before the Foundation contained them, they praised it as the best of all nine realms. Discovery SCP-190-DE was discovered when Foundation webcrawler flagged a finding in the database of the Berden Rodenberg Ministry for Rural Areas and Consumer Protection, which stated that the meat used by SCP-190-DE could not be clearly attributed to an animal. Also, SCP-190-DE-3's actual and possible dimensions were mentioned. Foundation agents were sent to investigate the case. Interview with SCP-190-DE-1 Note, this is the first interview with SCP-190-DE-1. Agent Valder stepped up to SCP-190-DE-3 and started talking to SCP-190-DE-1 due to the late hour. No other customers were present. Begin log. Hello, nice weather we're having this evening. Oh yeah, can't complain. What'll it be? I'm not here because I'm hungry. During the food inspection, very strange meat and vegetables were found here. Can you tell me anything about that? Are you sure? We make every effort to prepare everything properly, and none of our customers has complained as of yet. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Can I have the name for the protocol? Yes, of course. I'm Thorsten. Thorsten Nortman. With Thorn. Okay. Tell me, where do you get your meat from? Oh, here and there. The dealers just offer something of a good price. And also supplies to vegetables and other ingredients. But we also go hunting for some things ourselves. Of course, only where it is allowed. Are you allowed to hunt? Yes, of course. I got a special training license. Take a look. SCP-190-DE-1 pulls out a wallet, apparently made of goatskin, and pulls out said document to show it to Agent Valder. Hmm. Everything seems to be in order with that. What kind of animals do you hunt? Oh, well, wild boars, deer, partridges, lindworms. Lindworms? Those don't exist here, you idiot! You're not helping, Sif! Wait a minute. Sif! You call yourself Thorsten. Let me guess. The name of your goat has something to do with teeth grinding, right? Note. Agent Balder alludes to the goat tongue coaster, teeth cracker, and tongue gristener, teeth grinder, who, according to Norse mythology, pulled Thor's chariot. Well, Mr. Nortman, I've been working on this melody for some time, and I have to say, you are a lousy liar. Who are you, really? Well, uh, to be frank, you know, I, uh... Just tell him you're the god of thunder, jeez! Sif, who would buy that? I would. Wait, what? Well, my employer deals with people like you. I actually came because of the meat and the big car inside, but are you really Thor? Oh, what the heck. Yes, I am Thor, god of thunder, strength, healing, and oak trees. Hmm, how does a god of thunder get to operate a kebab joint? Everyone needs money to live. Gods are no exception. And nowadays, nobody really pays any tribute to us Asia. You know, with all those Christians. Why the fast food joint? And why Turkish food? Well, I tried the weather service once, but I didn't get through the trial period. Then I wanted to become a grocer together with Sif. I wanted to sell organic food exclusively. That's why our shop is called Eco Tor. But people prefer to go to the supermarket, and then I had to shut down. 
All I had left was my chariot. One day, I went to buy kebab to eat something else, and there I had a flash of genius. A great colleague of mine had opened a gourmet restaurant in the Aegean Sea. Note, this restaurant could not be found so far. So I thought I could do that. So instead of becoming the god of thunder, I would become the god of thunder. I had my car pimped out by the doors, and since then the money has been flowing again. Millie, just like that. Hey, sleep in a goat cart with your wife for five years with no roof over your head because your father kicked you out, then you'll get really desperate. I had to put my lost savings into this place. I see this thing with your father. None of your damn business. All right. Uh, why are you hiding from the public? As forced to Nordman, I mean. You know how embarrassing it would be a Devania. Note. The Vanyar are Norse dynasty of gods that antagonizes the Asia. Found out that the once mighty Thor has to operate a kebab stand to keep himself above water. Please, that's the last thing I want. I see. If you like, my organization can support you. For certain conditions, of course. What kind of conditions? Well, you have to take all non-terrestrial ingredients off the menu, or at least hide them somehow. Attach a tracking device to your car and keep us informed of where you're going. In return, we'll cover such annoying stuff like health and food inspection for you. Hmm, doesn't sound too bad, but I can't do without the ingredients. That's what makes the customers come in. If you wish, I can send you a few specialists to negotiate the exact conditions with you. I'm sure we can work something out. What's the deal? What if we refuse? I'm afraid we'll have to take you into custody. You are gods. You could do all sorts of damage. Listen, will you? I am the protector of Midgard, so I will protect this world and not destroy it by my honor. As far as I'm concerned, lock me up. But if you as much touch Sif, I'm gonna get really angry. At least listen to these people. We can still get out of the deal. All right, honey. End log. Closing addendum. SCP-190-DE1 and 2 agreed with Foundation representatives not to advertise the ingredients in an obvious manner, but to continue to use them after thorough analysis and agreed to the terms set forth in the security measures. Foundation agents monitor the joint without SCP-190-DE's knowledge to intervene in the event of an information leak. Addendum 190-DE-1 Recording Note, the following recording is a phone call received by SCP-190-DE-1 on the 9th of May, 2017. Due to the nature of the recording, it was not possible to record what was said by the other party. The telephone conversation was conducted in ancient Nordic and translated for better understanding. It should be noted that words were used that did not exist in ancient Norse. The meaning of these words was thereafter inferred from the context. Begin log. SCP-190-DE-1's phone is ringing. It looks apparently annoyed at the displayed number before answering the call. How do you have the guts to call me? Don't pretend as if I forgot that. Uh-huh. No, business is good. I'm not giving up on this now. It makes me look ridiculous, all right. Big words from someone who rides on an eight-legged horse. Hey, I still make more money than you. Yeah, what do you expect? There are now millions of duplicates of Dubner. Note, a ring worn by Odin, from which, according to legend, every ninth night, eight rings of equal value drop down. So the price is going down. That's your problem. And put the dogs on a diet. Like, there's going to be so much food on your table. S stop eating meat and eat something decent. Speaking of which, was the tree doctor there? Ah. Does a regular mushroom infection, I say. But no, the dear sir must dismiss it as magical. 
Can you fix that? Oh. I'm still not going there. No. Oh, father, I don't care who slays the snake. I was supposed to die, remember? Then ask for Indra in India. Note, Indra is a Vedic god of war, fertility, and rain. His deeds include the killing of the seven-time demon Vitra. He'll be more than willing to do that. This guy's trained for that kind of stuff, and he even has a club to do it. I realize it's not a hammer, but take what you can get. Look, you can do this, but without me. Is that clear? Leave my kids out of this! Yes, you'd better. Loki? No, I haven't seen him. Ask the Olympians. He did what? Oh, the Kami won't be happy about that. Nope. The Kami are the deities of the Japanese Shinto religion. Me? What are you thinking? He can't catch those critters himself. Goodbye. End of. Addendum 190DE2. In the following steps of Protocol Midgard are described. If SCP-190DE wishes to evade Foundation control, the following steps should be taken. 1. All Foundation coverage is withdrawn and tips on violations in SCP-190-DE-3 are passed to your local health department. 2. Should SCP-190-DE wish to evade the health check or reject the decision of the health commissioners to prevent the closure of the store, Step 1 is to be repeated in each new city where they appear. In addition, the kebab joint must be defamed through social media to force closure. 3. If SCP-190-DE does not cooperate again by this time, the kebab joint is to be closed and all entities taken into custody by mtf de 6 da The draft, with the possible support of several units of mtf de 4 da the defenders, all of them must then be transferred to Site-DE-17 and placed in containment. 